NYU Tandon School of Engineering recently gave away a lot of admits to students who are trying to pursue masters in computer science in this fall 2023. So in this video, let's look at the profiles of the people who have got admits in NYU. I'm also one of them. I'll be look at my profile as well. And let's try to find out what are the key factors that help you get into NYU. I'm making this video for all of you guys who are also planning to apply into NYU Tandon School of Engineering, maybe in spring 2024 or fall 2024. This video is going to help you guys to determine if you should apply into NYU or not. So stay tuned till the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So those of you who are new to my channel, I am Sahil Saluja and I'm a fall 2023 masters in computer science aspirant. I've applied in eight to nine universities and NYU is one of them. I recently got my admit in NYU and I also got a $5,000 scholarship from NYU. So in this video, first of all, I'll tell you guys what is my profile. Then we'll look at the profile of other students who have got admit as well. Alright, so I've done my B.Tech from Amity University in Noida, which is a tier 3 college and my CGPA during my undergraduation was 8.61. I scored 317 in GRE. Um, I scored 104 points in TOEFL. I've also done two internships. The first one I did was with Coding Ninjas as a content developer. I used to make uh, data structures and algorithm lectures on their YouTube channel which has over 3.5 lakh subscribers and the second internship I did was with Deutsche Telekom Digital Labs as a software developer and the time period of both of these internships was around three months. I also have seven months of uh, full-time experience as I work as a software engineer in Shell. So yeah, based on this profile and my SOPs and LORs, I got admit from NYU. So there's a group on WhatsApp in which there are 100 students who got admitted into NYU Tandon for MSCS in this term 2023. And I conducted a lot of polls in that group just to get to know their profiles. So let us look at the results of that poll one by one and then we'll get to know what is the trend of these admits. Alright, so let's look at them one by one. So the first question that I asked on this group was what is their GRE score range? Okay, and you can clearly see over 60 people have answered this and that is why this is a really good data. You can trust this data blindly, right? So you can clearly see that there are majority of the students in the range from 315 to 325. So if you are between this range, you can definitely check the GRE column for your profile that your GRE score is appropriate for you to apply into NYU. Okay, there's a lot of students, 13 students in fact, who got an admit and were below this range, but they would have other better factors in this profile like maybe their SOP, maybe their GPA and all of that. But if you want to be safe, the GRE score for NYU would be anything above 315, mine was 317. All right. So the second question was regarding their TOEFL scores. And most of the students here, you can clearly see, have scores in the range of 100 to 120. Now, uh, a lot of people have not answered this question because some people also give IELTS. And also, I believe that TOEFL and IELTS score doesn't affect your application that much. They're just a way for the university to know that you can speak, read and write in English. So yeah, that's about it. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question was really important because nowadays a lot of universities, um, I would say, have become GPA centric and NYU is also accused of being GPA centric. So clearly looking at the results, we can confirm that they do prefer high GPA. Most students have got GPA of greater than 8. So you can, you, you can clearly see that most students have GPA greater than 8. There's only eight people who have CGP in the range of seven to eight and have got admits. And that too, I know one guy personally, he was from IIT and he had other uh, things in his profile which got him into NYU. So I would also say that GPA is really important for you to get into NYU. If you have a GPA greater than eight, then you can again check the GPA box for applying into NYU. 
so the next question was regarding relevant work experience so you can clearly see that most of the students are in the range of less than 1 year so if you are fresher and thinking about applying into nyu you can apply into nyu and get an admit okay there is only 14 people who have experience more than 2 years so yeah so the next question was regarding research papers so the majority of students don't have research papers and still have got admitted into nyu so people believe that you should have a research paper because you are going for masters in research in cs then you should have a research paper as well but clearly you can see that 50% of the people who have got admit don't have any research papers so if you don't have any research papers then also it's fine you can again check the research paper column in your profile So yeah these were the profiles of the students who have admits this fall 2023 and now i am sure that you will be able to compare your profile with these profiles and make an informed decision about applying into NYU Tandon or not right because applying into a university costs around $200 at least and uh, you don't want to waste your money you want to make an informed decision and that is why compare your profile first and then apply Also guys if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment section and I'll answer all of those questions personally and I might make a new video on that particular topic so please make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video and also mention all of your doubts in the comment section so yeah thank you guys for watching this video see you in the next one bye bye